Is the Alaskan Trawler Fleet really killing juvenile halibut before they've had a chance to spawn? The area north of Dutch Harbor in Unimac Pass is one of the largest and most fertile halibut nurseries on the west coast. That's why halibut fishermen are not permitted to fish there. However, the trawl fleet is permitted to trawl there. In fact, it's one of the most heavily trawled areas in the state. It has also been identified as a hotspot for halibut bycatch. That's right, some of the largest volumes of halibut bycatch come from the nursery. And it's not just in the Bering Sea Aleutian Islands fishery. The same is true in the Gulf of Alaska fisheries as well. Halibut is the only species we report on here on the bycatch report that is measured in weight instead of individual count. In the week of March 25th, 2023, 145,505 pounds of halibut were destroyed by the trawler fleet. That averages out to about 866 pounds of halibut every hour. But how many halibut is that really? Well, in the Bering Sea Aleutian Islands fishery, the average weight of halibut that are caught as trawler bycatch is 4.7 pounds. In the Gulf of Alaska fishery, the average weight of halibut caught as trawler bycatch is five pounds. Halibut don't begin reproducing until they've reached a size of roughly eight pounds. Which means that when we tell you 866 pounds of halibut were destroyed by the trawler fleet every hour during the week of March 25th, a significant portion of those fish were juvenile and therefore too young to reproduce. Now, as we reported last week, in response to the decline in the halibut population, restrictions have been put in place on Alaska's fishermen. How effective will it be to limit Alaska's ability to harvest its own fish when the primarily out-of-state trawl fleet is still allowed to come to Alaska, trawl their nurseries, scoop them out of their cradles, and kill them by the hundreds before they've even had a chance to reproduce? Well, this is the bycatch report, so let's do the bycatch numbers for the week of March 25th, 2023. We already covered halibut. Let's move on to salmon. In the Bering Sea Aleutian Islands fishery during the week of March 25th, the trawl fleet destroyed 623 Chinook salmon. Meanwhile, in the mostly unobserved Gulf of Alaska fishery, the trawl fleet there reported a bycatch total of 265 Chinook salmon. As usual, in the fishery with less oversight, reported bycatch totals tend to be lower. Now let's talk crabs. In the Bering Sea Aleutian Islands fishery during the week of March 25th, the trawl fleet destroyed 2,842 apelio or snow crabs, 16,554 bairdy crabs, and 79 Alaskan red king crabs. Well, that's all for this week, folks. We want to thank you so much for watching. We'd like to thank Noah for providing the data that we use in the bycatch report. And once again, we'd like to thank John Warrenchuk for all of his hard work on behalf of Alaska's fisheries for the talk that he gave at the Alaska Outdoor Council Summit. There's so much great information in that video. You can find a link to it on our main page. We highly recommend you go watch it if you're passionate about this issue because he goes into great detail about many of the harms of Alaskan trawler bycatch. I'm Paul Jones, this is the Alaska Bycatch Report, and we'll see you next week.